Hello beautiful, beautiful souls. I hope everyone is doing super well today. So here it is, the video that we've all been waiting for that honestly I've been putting off. Um, I don't think that that's really a secret at this point. Um, this video is, is uh, all about Uranus retrograde in Taurus, um, which actually started August 20 um, and ends uh, January 18 of next year. Um, so we're already just over a month in and we're only just doing this video now. Um, reason being, honestly, it's been really rough on everyone, this, uh, this retrograde. Um, you know, we'll, we'll dig into the nitty gritty and why everyone's been having such a rough time. Uh, obviously, you know, throughout this reading. Um, but, uh, you know, for me, it's been rough as well. And, um... You know, I've been struggling to kind of get to grips with this one. This retrograde out of all of the retrogrades that are happening right now has been especially tough and has, you know, had it a, a knock-on effect then with uh, me doing readings and um, because as we will discover, I'm sure, throughout this reading, this retrograde is not really about the witchy woo. It's not about. Sorry, there's somebody shouting outside my window. I wondered what it was. Um, <clears throat> yeah, this isn't about the witchy woo. This isn't about the spiritual. This period of time um, is, you know, until January is about um, physical, physical things. It's about relationships. It's about purge it's about liberation and um you know I'm, I'm sure you could probably even hear in my voice that i am really tired <laughs> and um you know it's it's just really already it's taken its toll on me and um so you know apologies for not keeping up with the the the, the lunar cycle videos I know we've missed one uh, we've got a new moon coming up in a couple of days um, I may or may not do that video um, and I'm sorry to be wishy-washy about it um, but it's just the, the the way that I feel at the moment <laughs> um, and I've I've been promising this video, and I know that the information that's going to come up here is going to be very useful, especially for those of you who have been feeling it, but not understanding why you're feeling the way that you're feeling. I think that this will shed a lot of light on that, and will will be very helpful in the months to come. Um, I will be. Um, making a video where I talk about this just a little bit more, not the retrograde so much, but um, how this how this retrograde is sort of affecting, you know, what I'm doing um, when it comes to content and um, just just me in general. So, um, you know, check that out. That that video will will follow this one. Um, so yeah, you know, I I am sorry that I haven't been keeping up with the Twin Flame Tuesday readings and with the Lunar readings. Um, it's just this retrograde. It's it's just it's it's just kicking the shit out of everyone. Um, so let's let's just dig in a little bit with uh, before we start hitting up the the cards. Um, so let's dig in a little bit as to what this retrograde really is for and what it means. So Uranus is the great liberator. So this time is about disruption so that we can be liberated from things that no longer serve us. This is spirit's last ditch attempt to purge out all of the bullshit and because this is a retrograde in Taurus, Taurus is not fond of change. Taurus will actively do everything that it can to prevent change. It's the only sign that will do that. 
Um, so that's why this is feeling so um, uncomfortable, right? Because we're resisting it because we've got we're we're being influenced by Taurus. Um, now, all that's really doing, right? Because there's something positive to be taken from everything, right? Um, all that's doing really is it's making everything seem like it's happening very slowly. Um, it's making everything just move in slow motion it's making everything in the physical reality kind of grind to a halt um things aren't really moving forward like you know relationships aren't progressing right now there's problems within relationships in fact people are breaking up uh, people are arguing people are they're getting upset with each other they're, they're they're arguing with each other they're having fights with each other hopefully not physical ones but you know certainly verbal ones and there's not really anything changing in the physical reality, just period. Um, maybe... I'm going to rephrase that because things are certainly ending. Um, maybe people are losing their jobs or, or deliberately stepping away from them. But they're not moving forward, right? They're, they're, these I say these people. I mean, really, it's it's us, right? So I'm, who I'm talking to, us. We are stepping away from our jobs, from our careers. We're stepping like down from them, but we're not moving forward into a new career or a new job. We're just stopping, right? Like we're we're just taking a break. And, and it is a break, and it doesn't feel like one, it feels like the end. And that's why this retrograde has been so hard on so many people, because it it's... We all, you know, don't forget that Neptune is in retrograde as well, and Neptune brings this... Um, brings a lot of illusion with it especially being in its home sign of Pisces it's like illusion central <laughs> so we're all in a dream world with Neptune and then so it's amplifying the illusion that's coming with uh, Uranus retrograde um, that everything has slowed down to a halt and it's not going to start to start up again a lot of us are feeling very lost we we don't have a game plan anymore we don't even know what we want anymore we're finding it difficult to move forward now the truth here which we we will uncover this you know of course with the cards in a moment but the truth is the reality is that this is a, a period of liberation and let's not forget as well that taurus is all about you know taurus is an earth sign and and is all about physical security, financial security, having a a steady, secure home life, having um like a, um supplies, like having a cash, right? It's it's about physical abundance and security primarily. So we're we're how we're we're benefiting from this even though it feels very uncomfortable when the retrograde ends in january next year it's only a few months away you know we're already in in october um we we would have benefited from um having this opportunity to overhaul our physical lives where we are being liberated from things that don't serve us. We're being liberated from shitty financial situations. We're being liberated from shitty relationships. And, and because also Taurus brings that stubbornness to change, it feels really uncomfortable, this change. It's making us sort of feel like we need to cling to it no 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 no. please stay 
I don't want this relationship to end, even though I know it's really shit and I'm not happy. I, 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 <laughs> I don't want it to end, <laughs> right? This is Taurus. And, oh, but this job, you know, it, I, I hate it. And I, you know, I don't get on, on with the people I work with. And the pay doesn't provide me with enough money to to uh you know pay for all the things that i want and need in life and yet i want to stay here because i've been here for so many years it's in my comfort zone um it, better the devil you know right i hate that phrase because you know people are willing to stick with what they know just because they're afraid of change and and taurus is you know that's like the negative trait of of Taurus. Every sign has a negative trait. So you know this uh, this is why this retrograde is feeling uncomfortable. So I know I've done a lot of talking. I normally have dug into cards by now, but I just wanted to outline you know a few things before we started with the cards because. I know that this retrograde is hitting really hard, really hard, and everyone's feeling really lost, and communication is just not good right now, so people are really struggling to articulate how they're feeling, um, and because it's slowing everything down, everyone's feeling really tired, everyone's just it's it's making us sleep a lot more it's it's making us go to bed later than we usually do because we've got so much on our minds it's a struggle to fall asleep but once we are asleep we're napping right and once we are asleep we sleep like dead to the world instead of you know maybe you normally get six seven eight hours sleep you're sleeping for like 10 11 12 hours it, should you have the opportunity to sleep that long, then you are. Appetite has just completely dropped off. So for like a solid week, you'll be eating next to fuck all because you're just not... You, like Your body's still hungry, of course, but you just don't have the appetite. And then you'll stuff yourself for one day because you've not been eating properly for the previous week and your body needs the the energy. You know, so it's it's affecting us in in lots of different ways. So I just wanted to outline this stuff first, you know, before we before we started. So I'm not going to follow any particular structure here. We're just going to keep pulling cards, right? We're just going to keep pulling cards from different decks and just see what we have here. All right. Okay, so let's let's do this in the order that they came out. Okay, <clears throat> so we have Desert Vision Quest. So, the primary thing that this retrograde is doing is it's bringing the past to the surface. Excuse me. Perhaps you found yourself getting really upset or really angry about that thing that happened a couple of years ago that really fucked you up at the time. Um, this is, uh, you know, what whatever the, I'm going to call it the event, right? Whatever the event was, whenever it was in your life that, that changed your, the course of your life forever whether it was last month and you're still going through it or last year or four years ago or ten years ago you are thinking about it so much just lately and the reason that this is coming back up is so that you can just purge it and lay it to rest finally and you will right you will because you are not your trauma. You are not. You are a human being. You are a soul. You are versatile. You are strong. And you are capable of overcoming adversity. Any adversity. 
that comes your way. And spirit never gives us more than we can handle. So that thing that happened that changed your life forever, it was a lesson. It was supposed to teach you things and you are still learning to deal with those emotions that came with that event. Yes, this is the time for you to do that. So as uncomfortable and as upsetting and as potentially traumatizing as it is, you've got to work through those emotions when they come up don't force them but when they come up just take the time right excuse yourself from the room if there's people around and you don't want to be sat blubbing you know in front of other people whatever go and seek solitude <laughs> right and uh and and work through it you know start start journaling start writing down how you feel get it out talk to somebody if there's somebody around that you feel that you could talk to um may maybe strike up a relationship with a counselor you know start start seeing a um like a, a psychotherapist or something just until january and just get it off your chest right start working through it the reason it's still there for you is because you've buried it it's because you've you've just you've soldiered on and good for you but you're carrying it around right i can relate to this i've got my own trauma from 4 years ago it's all popped back up lately right it's not it's not at the surface right now but yesterday it was i had a right old cry in the kitchen <laughs> over over things that happened 4 years ago so, you know, this is affecting everybody. And we've got to work through it, right? Now we've got river movement. Now river, of course, this is water and this is emotion. So there's a lot of movement when it comes to our emotion. There's all of this buried, long buried emotion coming to the surface. And we've got to work through it. We've got to. That's what this retrograde is for. Retrogrades are not here to punish us. They're here to deliver lessons. And currently there are five planets in retrograde. Pluto, Saturn, Jupiter, Uranus. What else is in retrograde? I'm sure there's something else in retrograde. I'm forgetting. But, you know, we've, we've got like this whole, oh, Neptune, of course, right. So we've got five planets in retrograde right now. So we've got a quintuple whammy, <laughs> right, of retrograde energy. We're learning a lot. We are learning so much about ourselves, how we process our emotions, how we just, how we just process information full stop. We're learning how we've changed over the last year. And how we've changed over the last however many years. We're learning who we are now. We're learning, therefore, who everybody else is. Because everyone else is, is doing exactly what you're doing. Everyone else is changing and growing and levelling up. And learning themselves. So, a little bit of compassion will go a long way right now. Knowing that you're feeling uncomfortable, so is everyone else. Not everything is about you. <laughs> I don't mean any harm by that, but there are a lot of people out there that think that they are the only ones that are suffering right now. And everyone is suffering. Whether they're aware of it or not, whether they're spiritual or not, whether they're, you know, into the witchy-woo stuff, whether they even know what a retrograde is or not. Every single soul on this planet right now are being affected by this retrograde and by the other four retrogrades you can't get away from it just because you're not spiritual and you think it's all bullshit doesn't mean that you are exempt from it so everyone's being affected and therefore everyone's feeling this friction everyone's feeling upside down and and everyone's trauma is at the surface right now everyone's right 
So everyone's being triggered, <laughs> you know, everyone's being a bit snowflakish. Um, you know, and people handle it differently, right? Some people act like a a wild caged animal and they lash out at everyone and they get really, really angry. Some people just cry. Some people get numb and they don't process it, which we're being advised here against that. We're being shown here that we need to spend some time on our own so that we can process these emotions. Yes. Some people aren't doing that. Some people are just shutting down because it's too much for them. And it's not too much for them at all. They just don't know how to handle their emotion. So now we can see, we can understand why there's so many relationships that are breaking down at the moment. This is why people are really argumentative at the moment. This is why you had an argument with your friend the other day or with your partner the other day or today you're in the middle of an argument, right? Or your parents are getting funny with you, right? Th this is why. So a bit of compassion. That doesn't mean you have to put these people before yourself. But at least when you're in a level of understanding as to why everyone's going batshit crazy at the moment, it means that maybe sometimes someone will say something to you and you'll just let it slide because you know it's not really them. It's because they're in survival mode. They're feeling this retrograde just like you are. But they don't understand what's happening to them and you do. Therefore, you can have that little bit of extra compassion for them. So let's see what else is... Uh... Let's go into our doing deck. Let's see what we can... I don't know, maybe what shadow... I'm trying not to direct this reading too much because... I said what shadow. <laughs> You're the shadow queen. Acquiring knowledge, insecurity and man manipulation. Right, this does actually remind me... Um, this reminds me of something that I read a while ago um, that we are being given the challenge right as a as a combo that comes with both Uran uh, uranus retrograde and taurus um the challenge is to not be in or well let me rephrase that. The challenge for us right now is to overcome a poverty mindset and to acquire more of a an abundance mindset, right? Because of just how low and crap we're all feeling, it's making us feel like we're in lack and we're not. We are not in lack Your money is the same as it was. Your living situation is the same as it was, right? You may have moved, you may have changed your job, but you are not worse off. Now, you may feel that you are, but you are not. That is an illusion. The illusion is that everything is fucked and it's broken beyond repair and we don't have a game plan and we don't know how to fix it. That's all of it is an illusion. So you've just got to hang on until January. And I know that can seem like a million miles away when you're really in the thick of it. But it's not. It's October. Okay. There's only a couple of months left to go. January 18. Circle it on your calendar. Right. Count the days if you have to. If that's what gets you through. But focus on yourself. Focus on the things we've already talked about and remind yourself in those darker times when you are in the thick of this shadow, right? Remind yourself that Uranus is the great liberator. You are being liberated right now. Change is only feeling difficult because Taurus. And... The challenge here, we are being taught, this is a lesson in how to cultivate an abundance mindset when you feel like your life is falling apart. Because I tell you what, if you can, if you can um, cultivate 
an abundance mindset when your life is falling apart or it feels like it is, you can do fucking anything, can't you? Because right now it feels like everything's falling apart, but it is not. It's an illusion. But if we can cultivate that um, abundance mindset and overcome that feeling of lack, then you've you've won. You've prevailed. You've become titanium. <laughs> you've become the strongest version of yourself. Let's see what else we've got from this deck. We've got the Lady of Lightning. Surprises, sometimes shock, total paradigm shift. This is also the Libra card. You see how she's standing like scales, right? Libra. Um, so yeah, this total paradigm shift. This is, this is changing us forever. I've just noticed that we've also got two... Uh, divine feminine so emotion right there's more emotion here and she's holding this light up and this is the lady of lightning right with all this light so we need to focus on the light and not the shadow yes we yes we need to work through our shadow but you work through it by heading towards the light yes you don't work through shadow by getting lost in the shadows you know you light you light a torch <laughs> and you find your way to the light more water another divine feminine the river queen flow letting go and natural movement okay so there's our advice uh, you know well more advice right is to just flow with this, just just surrender, just let it go. Allow, allow, you know, what will be, will be, right? You just got to take care of yourself whilst it's happening and, um, and just flow with it. You just got to flow with it. All this water. Yeah, see? So we've got focus, we've got a fire card here. Ironically, my camera won't focus. There we go. <laughs> focus, okay? So, I know I'm just repeating myself now, but, you know, you've just got to focus on the things that we've talked about. Um, focus on... Um, Oh, I know how it sounds, right? When when I'm feeling negative and someone says to me, oh, you just got to focus on the positive, I'm like, pull the other one, it's got bells on, right? So I, I get it, and, and because of that, I'm reluctant to, to even say it. <laughs> However, um, you know, I mean, I can word it differently, right? Focus on your own growth. Focus on the things that you can learn from the way that you're feeling you know where where's the silver lining because there is one right i mean i don't feel that there's any of you here watching this right now who is willing to have a negative mindset because you know the the negative people are not they're not here right I, I just i feel that the negative people the ones who you know, when you say to them, oh, what are you grateful for? And they go, I don't know. Or worse yet, they say nothing. Those people are not, I feel, are not watching readings. Um, because those people are just wallowing in their own filth, <laughs> their own self-pity, right? Um, those are the people that I'd like to help, but I can't help people if they don't, you know, they're not ready and they're not, you know, you could lead a horse to water and all that. I feel that the people who are here, all of you, um, you, you want to feel better. You want to be the best version of yourself. You want to use these energies to the highest degree so that you can level up, right? 
so you know f first off well done you you should be really proud of yourself for having that mindset and for wanting to learn and for having learned this very powerful ability to see the positive in things even when they seem hopeless when they seem hopeless because you know that nothing is hopeless right nothing is hopeless nothing is truly negative at, at worst it's neutral right and you find the the positive in that so focus on that focus on the fact that you are being liberated right now because uranus is the great liberator Focus on the things that you can be learning from feeling this uncomfortable. <laughs> Focus on finding a way to overcome that discomfort. Because like I said, you know, then you've won. This is not a time to be moving forward. This is just a time to process. Yeah, right. So we've got divine purpose. This will be revealed. It will be revealed. But we've got to work through our bullshit first. We can't have it all, right? We we can't just be picking up the, the bullshit, the, just the vicissitudes of life you know putting them in a big suitcase and then carrying them around with us for the rest of our lives and follow our divine purpose and be a teacher to another and um you know a, a supporter to another and be that um divine feminine incarnate or that divine masculine incarnate when we're just carrying around all of this shit, you know, we're not processing any of it ourselves. We we have to we have to work through the lessons when they come in order to find our divine purpose. We we can't not have the lessons and just have the nice stuff. This is the, life isn't a buffet, <laughs> right? It's not a buffet where you can just help yourself to whatever you want. You are served certain meals and 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 these meals are what you pre-chose before you were born. You're like, I'm going to eat that because it's going to teach me this and I'm going to eat that because it's going to teach me that, right? So it's a weird analogy, I know, but let's just go with it, all right? So you're being served up these meals and some of them are really nice and some of them are real, real icky and you don't want to eat them. And now this is one of those meals. This is, you know, this is like a shit sandwich, right? We don't want to eat it because it tastes bad. <laughs> but, but we have to, <laughs> right? We have to. We chose it. We chose it. And we chose it for a reason, right? So that we could learn. We could learn from said shit sandwich. <laughs> so we've also got nurture as well. So this is an earth card um, as Taurus is an earth sign. Um, we, we, we really just need to take care of ourselves, right? So we're looking at things in an earth type way. So physical stuff. If you feel tired and you have time for a nap, fucking have one. <laughs> Our bodies are changing uh, at a molecular level and it's making us feel exhausted. Eat when you're hungry, right? If, if you are used to having a set routine for your sleep and for your eating just you know and it's not working for you right now and it, and you feel really tired and you feel like you just don't have an appetite and you feel hungry in the middle of the night when you don't normally or you feel hungry at times when you don't normally feel hungry right listen to your body forget what the clock is telling you listen to your body if your body is tired let it sleep if your body wants sustenance, then feed it. If your body is thirsty, then have that drink. If you're like, oh no, I don't ever drink tea past 11pm, right? But you get inexplicably parched and all you can think about is having a cup of tea and it's midnight. 
go and make a cup of tea. Just do it. Listen to your body. Your body knows what it needs more than you know what it needs. Because you're a soul. You, you are not your body. You're just piloting this vehicle. It's like when you're driving a car and it starts to chug, 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 chug. You're like, oh, it needs oil, right? It's telling you. So listen, listen to it. Listen to your car, but also listen to your body, right? Listen to your body. Whatever it, it wants and needs. Obviously, there are things like maybe you don't feel like exercising, but you've noticed that you're getting a little bit fat. So you're like, oh, I need to exercise, right? Then go and exercise. But even though you you don't feel like doing it, still go do it, right? There's certain things where you can mother yourself. Nurture, yes. Where you can still mother yourself, you can still nurture yourself, but don't push it. This is more so sleep and food. This is this is what's being affected right now, is sleep and food. Okay, let's use this deck. Let's use our star seed deck and see what we got here. Yeah, right? Right? Love it when I get echoed. <laughs> Deep love, mother's milk, birth as a portal, okay? So that just echoes exactly what I was just talking about, right? This nurture right here. I'm going to put this here, actually. Um, let's do it like that. Okay. Oh, hello. Inner earth. Beautiful, look at that. You'll survive this. New solutions and beginnings. It doesn't feel like a beginning. As I said, it feels like an end. But January. This card is January right here, I feel. New solutions and beginnings. This is, look at that image, right? This is what we're cultivating on the inside right now. You will survive this. You will. Hmm. A new earth. So we had inner earth and now a new earth. It's happening. Keep holding the vision. So yeah, again, January, right? I feel that Spirit's giving us messages now about the future. That there is so much waiting for us. So many incredible adventures and just things, just stuff and things, right? Because we're doing all of our learning now and February is the next energetic phase. And I, I, I mean, I'm sure the rest of you feel this way as well, but I cannot fucking wait <laughs> until the next energetic phase because... We're in a very slow, nothing, you know, is happening. This is not action-orientated energy at all. This is all inward, and it's always difficult. It's always challenging. And yet, next year, moving forward into spring, February, that's the next energetic phase, we are going to be moving into action-orientated energy again. And we are going to benefit from all of this that we're experiencing now. So I think I'm going to leave that there. Um, I don't think that there's really more to come from this read. Um, I think we've pretty much covered everything. Um, so yeah, um, it's weird. I'm not actually sure how to wrap up this video because... Um, I know that over the next couple of days I'm going to be making a video kind of talking about how I'm feeling just lately. Um, so I guess just look out for that and, and do watch it. It will be short and sweet. I'm going to try and make it just a short a short thing. Um, but just in honour of kind of catching up with what is going on on this channel. Um, 
and uh, and of course you know do tune in to to twitch as well uh, if you want to catch me live um i'm not sure what i'm going to be doing with regards to live readings so i normally do live readings um on twitch so worth a follow e either way come come and check out the channel um i think we're going to be playing a lot um a lot more games um over the the next few months but you know e either way if you just want to pop in just say hi um then you are more than welcome um the link is in the description below if you want to come and join us live um but yeah you know hang in there just hang in there right you will survive this i think this is going to be our like talisman card <laughs> you will survive this there are new solutions and new beginnings coming a new earth you've got this focus on what's important listen to your body be kind to yourself be kind to others this is a rough time for everyone we will get through this it's just a few months it feels a lot worse than it actually is this is about processing how we've been feeling for a long time. Processing our trauma. Finally laying it to rest. Finally working through it. You've got this. Remember that you are sacred and you are important. And you are a god. And you are a goddess in your reality. So take care of yourselves and I will see you guys in the next one.